Hello, Angela myritz reed here, Stamping Up Demonstrator based in Christchurch, New Zealand. Today I'm sharing with you how I created this handmade card using the Quiet Meadow stamp set and the Brilliant Wings dies. All the products I've used are available at my online store and will be listed at the end of the video. A PDF tutorial is also available via my blog and I've added a link to um, my blog in the description box. Um, I'd love you to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my video and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's start it. Um, I have a pool party card base and all the measurements are in the metric in the tutorial. And just to add a little bit of um, interest I like to pop um, a bit of the uh, DSP that I'm going to be using on a um, piece of just um, photocopy paper or we can use cardstock if you like just pop a bit of glue on there and just pop that along the bottom and just make sure it's nice and straight and I'll just trim off that little overhang and then I'm just going to add that into the um, the inside of the card just pop a little bit of stamp and seal and then just tuck that inside this makes it a little bit more finished and then I've got the piece of um, DSP which is a host party and that will be finishing the next um, day or so a few days so we'll be getting the new catalogue which is exciting just pop that on and then we're going to do the next layer in the next layer, I'm using the Time Worn 3D embossing folder. This is one of my favourites. Just go my emboss machine in. Pop that in there. Run that through. A lovely folder just gives a bit of interest to your piece of white cardstock and I've just added a bit of interest just using the stamp and write marker the pull party one and don't be too harsh but um, so you don't want to damage the nib I haven't so far, I do this a lot and haven't managed to um, damage the nib, they're quite hardy. When you're happy with how much you've got on there. So um, I'm going to adhere that to the front of here. And quite often I add layers of just cardstock or instead of dimensionals and I'll just pop some dimensionals on today. A bit of a lift. I always like these um, edge bits. Cover a decent um, amount of space. Got a whole pile here. Work quite well, just fill up some gaps and got some more here Let's see pop I think that should be hopefully enough pop another just don't want it sagging <laughs> 
And then that is going to go straight onto the card. And then I just want to place that nice and straight on the card front and even. And then we're going to do the next layer, which is this layer here. And I've used the, this die from the Brilliant Wings die. It's an interesting sort of um, um, hashed sort of look. So what I've done is I've got a piece of white cardstock and I'll just bring in my just some space, bring in my mini die cutting machine. And of course you can't see it over here. I've just concentrated it on this side. It on an angle and then straighten that up a little bit better let's see the look it gives. So it's a bit of interest, so I we'll just keep on doing that. Um, you can turn it up or maybe I'll just slot it in there. I need to do this through about four times. One, I'll just bring it, doesn't really try that there matter. It's quite, you just want it to be reasonably hap. So this is going all over the place. Maybe if I top the sheet out, it won't move so much. These mini machines are great for these little dies. a little bit easier especially having I have my quite often have my big machine set up for embossing and this one for the little guys and that's that done so just pop that aside for the minute and get it again shortly and then what I've done is using my blending brush and pull party added colour to that background so what I do is I tend to just add it to the brush and then just pop it on here just make sure that I'm not getting any dark blobs and I just want to add the colour onto here can do this first it doesn't matter this way you sort of get the color into those cuts this is a lighter color so you can just go straight onto the paper sometimes the darker colors it's quite good to just add it into the tray the lid Just once you've got the colour that you're happy with, it's just to add a bit of interest. And then and for this one, I've used the, the stamp from Out of the Quiet Meadow, which is this dotted one. Just randomly stamp that there to add a bit of interest. You could flick on this one or you could have used this on the other background too so this is going to be added 
onto here and once this is also going to be um, put some dimensionals on that let's give it a little lift and I've just pulled that out so put on the side a little bit this week we've been casing Anne Alexander, she's just beautiful cards and this layout was a great layout, lots of interest. And then um, next is adding the butterflies. So I've chosen these three here, a piece of white cardstock. So I'll bring my mini machine back in. fit on there Pull that through sometimes with these you do need to go through twice just to get a really good cut but I don't like to run them through twice when they're all together because sometimes they can sort of jump so just put that on and run that through again sometimes even three or four times it just just saves time at the other end poking out the little bits so hopefully they'll fall out reasonably easily now Let's get rid of those off there. Pop that one in. Probably would have been just as easy to do them all separately in the first place, actually. Hindsight's always a wonderful thing, isn't it? I'll just tuck it through. Again, just to be sure. It's the only thing, isn't it? You end up with all these tiny, tiny little bits everywhere. So, a couple of things that have worked really well is, is one of these. Um, and the foam matting too. I won't get that out today, but that just works perfectly there. And then this end here, just poke that through there. Gently pull it away. And same with that one, just oh, that's come out perfectly. And this one I'll just run the brush. That's that done. So get that clear those out. And so those I've just added with a glue dot because I wanted them to be not be flat. Just feels like then they are um, floating. Actually, that's a bigger one I've used this time, but that's okay. So I just roll them up. Probably can't see that very well, but I've just rolled that up and placed that on there. I'll just bring it up to the camera so you can see. Hopefully you can see that I've popped them on there. And I'm just going to tuck that one there. And I'll do the same on these two here. A little bit fiddly but I like to stick to you <laughs> and just do 
a couple as it just makes it sure it sticks well and this one tuck here and then lastly that little one is just going to be tucked down here there's probably only just room for one of those on there And then that, um, I've added a little bit more of this um, pull party marker just onto the butterflies. And then I'm going to add, I've got that uh, little strip here behind the thinking of you. So I'll do those two now. So I'll stamp thinking of you. little scrap piece of white and I'll trim that to the right size I've managed to get a little bit there but that'll be trimmed off and my little trimmer in and trim that down I managed to make and then I just want a piece of this too that's um, just going to sit underneath so I'll just and I've made it slightly longer so I'll just cut that off there. So that first bit is just going to sit in there and I'll just pop some glue on. I've got so many um, dimensionals I think I'll just make that fairly flat. And then pop some dimensionals on here. And tuck that on there. So it's just sitting just above that. So that strip's just, just at the bottom. And then I've um, done a bow in the linen thread. It's been, you know, when it's wound on here, it's great because it gives you those lovely curly ends. Sort of want to make it nice and big. I think I'll just check the loops are the same length. And a glue dot for that works well too, just to add that onto the card. So I'll just tuck that in beside that thinking of you. not on the glue dot and I'll just tuck that end under the sentiment see how it's done place and those lovely long curly ends and then lastly I've got some of these rhinestones from the Waves Basics Jewels and these come in Coastal Cabana, Knight of Navy and Pacific Point and even though I haven't used the Resident Pool Party I think it works quite well these ones similar color if you don't have these you could always if you've got a um, stamp and blend pen you can color color these jewels the plain jewels so i've got added quite a few to this just to add a bit of sparkle i've got five of them on this And 
that's it completed so that was um didn't take too long even though there are all those um lovely layers and different techniques so thanks very much for uh, um watching along with me i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again next week thanks bye